We just got the macro lenses for the Unity thermal camera, the 260B that we have for sale on our website. And I cannot wait to try that macro lens. As you know, we've been out of stock on the thermal camera for the past two, three weeks, about two, three weeks. But we do have the option to back order if you want to get one. We have 200 pieces on back order. Today we received the first batch of back order and those cameras are going out to people who already back ordered the camera. If you look on our website, you will notice that the camera is out of stock, but we do have the back order feature. Let me show you quick. If you look here, we have 42 customers that already back ordered the thermal camera and paid for it. We have 200 pieces on order. We were not able to get our hands on more than 200 pieces. Today we received 20 out of the 200 and the 20 will ship to the first 20 orders that we received on the thermal camera. So 22 more people have to wait for the next batch to come in, which should be later this week or next week. But that's not the only thing. If you look here, we have 160 customers that are waiting for the camera to be in stock. They did not back order, they did not pay for the camera, but they just clicked on notify me when the thermal camera is back in stock. Once we have the item in stock, we will click on send email and an email will get sent to all 160 people to let them know that we have this camera in stock. But the camera is not gonna go in stock unless we fulfill the 42 orders that we currently have for that camera. So having said all that, today we received macro lenses for that thermal camera. I did a review on the thermal camera maybe one or two weeks ago and I spoke about how amazing this camera is. Today, with this macro lens, the camera is about to become more amazing. What does a macro lens do? The macro lens allows you to focus closer to the board and to see the board in more details. Right now, as you know, with the thermal camera, we have to be 0.25 meters away from the board in order for the lens to be able to focus on the board. The same thing goes with my Fleur E60 camera. I have to put my hand up in order to focus on the board. I'm very excited to try that macro lens. I did not try it yet, but it looks something like this. And the macro lens fits in the front here. Okay, but it has to be taped from the back. Pre-applied tape is already on the back, as you can see on the left and right. I'm not gonna peel the tape off for now. I'm just gonna hold it with my finger like this. And we're gonna test and see what difference that macro lens does. So the macro lens goes in the front here. It's taped onto the camera. It serves the purpose of allowing you to focus closer to the board and also protect the lens under. Right now I have two boards on my bench. I have a laptop motherboard and I have a Minimax tuner that came in for repair. Let me plug the power cable onto the Minimax tuner. Maybe we can look at the board under the thermal cam and see the difference that the macro lens does. Okay, so let's see. Right now, if you recall from the previous video I did on the thermal camera where I reviewed the camera, I did mention that we have to be far away from the board in order for the camera to focus. Right now with the macro lens, I'm able to focus on the board at a close distance. I do not have to be far away. And because I can focus at a close distance, I'm able to see all the details on the board. We have a lot of tiny components here. We have a lot of microscopic components. Let's see if we are able to see the details on those components and what is getting hot on the board. I know there's a short circuit on this board. And let's see if we can see it clearly using the macro lens. I do see that we have a short right here. And look at the details that you see with the macro lens. Look at the details. The software provided by Unity is a bit laggy. You do not see that lag on the thermal camera itself, but because the camera has to plug into a computer and the computer has to process the image and then send it over to the software, and then I'm capturing that software, it may be a bit laggy, but it's not laggy like this when you are viewing the image on the thermal camera itself. You can see all the components and details. I can see this capacitor here, and we clearly see that we have a hot component right here. And as you can see, we have other tiny microscopic components on the board. So with the macro lens, I'm able to define precisely what is getting hot on the board. What I wanna do is switch palettes. I like to use different palettes for different scenarios. And I wanna see different palettes with this macro lens. Let's switch over to this one here. And if you look at this one, it shows you more vivid colors and it's very apparent which component is getting hot the white and red, white is super hot, red 
hot and yellow semi hot so on and so forth if we go down here hot is white so the image that you are seeing is black and white and white is hot and right now i think i am one inch away from the board and just look at the details let's go to the next one we can clearly tell that red is hot and right now with this palette black is hot look at the details on this macro lens let's move down and try the last one here and our heat spot is right over here and the component is this one here so we were able to pinpoint the component from the rest of the components on the board because of the macro lens okay and the macro lens was able to show us the definition of the legs on that component as well and that's what the macro lens does it allows you to focus closer onto the board so you can see components in more details and so that you can pinpoint precisely pinpoint which component is getting hot the macro lenses will be posted on our website by later today or tomorrow and more thermal cameras are coming in this week and the week after once we fulfill back orders then the item will go back in stock and we will have to email all 160 people that signed up to get emailed when the thermal camera is back in stock if you do need a thermal camera you can back order and we will put one on the site for you as soon as we get that camera in stock we will ship it over to you that's it quick video i hope you enjoyed it leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video